My name is Eric Wielander and welcome to Windy Tech, a channel all about smart home tech in the Apple ecosystem. Today we're going to talk about Philips Hue bulbs and can they survive the extreme cold? So when I first moved into this house, I wanted to make the outdoor lights by the garage smart. And at the time, I didn't really want to bother with installing smart switches. And I already had some Philips Hue bulbs from an apartment that I previously lived at, uh, the, the Philips Hue white bulbs. And so I figured I'd give it a shot and put them in and see what happened. And I, I installed them, was able to automate them. So turning on at sunset and then turning off at sunrise and they worked through the hotter parts of the summer. I think we got up into the 90s, maybe maybe a little over 100 at one or two times, uh, and that was fine. So I'd always wondered when we get to the winter in this super cold time, what's gonna happen to these bulbs? Are they gonna break? And uh, so I was really curious to see as the temperatures dropped, what happened? And I woke up this morning, the temperature was negative 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this is a Wednesday morning on January 30th. And it looks like they'd shut off just fine from the sunrise automation. So there were no errors there. And then just to test to see if they still worked, I turned them back on and that worked fine. I didn't get any errors. I went outside, uh, noticed that my Nest Hello doorbell was working fine as well. I brought an infrared thermometer outside and it can't even read these temperatures, it's so cold. So it would just say negative zero F. You know, we're negative 23 degrees Fahrenheit is negative 30-ish Celsius. So, um, you know, Philips Hue rates these bulbs to be able to go down to negative 10 degrees Celsius or about 14 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a lot warmer. When outside, the bulbs were working fine. Uh, the, the lights were on, no issues. I checked the temperature on them, it still said, you know, yeah, these are really cold. Um, and then I was able to talk to my watch and ask Siri to turn one of them off. That went fine. Turn off garage light right. 10-4, request sent. Asked Siri to turn one of them back on again. That went fine. If turn on garage light right. Coming right up. Um, and then I got some close-ups to just show you guys these are in fact Philips Hue white bulbs. I'm not, you know, trying to pull some kind of scam. What's the current temperature outside? It's minus 23 degrees outside. Um, I was able to even also open my garage door, which I've uh, reviewed in a previous video, um, linked below or probably up in the card. Uh, so that worked fine as well. Open the garage door. Garage door is opening. I think one of the key things that allows these bulbs to work in this situation is that uh, they're in a pretty enclosed fixture where it kind of hopefully insulates them a little bit from the outside cold. But again, there's not much there protecting them, just some glass uh, little pieces to make that square. Uh, Philips doesn't really make any kind of A19 or similar style light bulbs that fit in, in, in light fixtures that are rated for outside. They have some spotlights uh, that'll work, but those just face up from the socket. And uh, they have light fixtures that you can put in outside Side, but they those have to replace the entire light fixture and again I just moved in I wanted a light bulb to put in I didn't want to spend the time to do that just yet it is the type of bulb that they include in their forthcoming um, Inara outdoor light uh, which is the only one of their upcoming outdoor lights that I've seen that has a, a removable light bulb in it so I think what they're getting at there too is that as long as you have a pretty weatherproof fixture that's going to protect the bulb you're probably probably fine. I would say you can get Philips Hue white bulbs for pretty reasonable now, especially compared to a lot of other smart home lighting and outdoor lighting options. So get them, take the risk, realize that you're probably not going to get them for the full lifespan that the manufacturer recommends. Uh, but you know, you, you'll probably get a lot more life out of them than you might expect and just give it a shot. And if they break, when they break, they break and you can replace them. Um, I might put a smart switch in out there by the garage lights at some point and get some more official outdoor bulbs, but you know, for right now, this whole setup is, is working just fine. Let me know down below in the comments if you've been using um, any kind of smart home tech outside that's not rated for extreme cold, but it's working fine or not. I've read some threads on Reddit recently with people having garage door issues in this extreme cold, you know, with smart garage doors. Uh, so, you know, things definitely do go wrong in the cold. It's not all 
perfect. Uh, but I'd love to hear about that in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel if you aren't already for more videos on smart home tech and the Apple ecosystem. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.